how can a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, all right? He knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him, and he wasn't ready for that heat. The reality of the situation is um, <clears throat> he could have got up and continued exactly. to fight. Exactly. a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much is this is a 16 foot ring. Very much the type. A couple of those punches appeared low with left hooks off the ropes. Some of Tyson's club first round knockout victims. But now... Well, one of the things that makes Tyson so special, he threw a tremendous left hook, missed with it, and didn't go off balance. Always in position to punch. opponent here in Ferguson who's not giving him very many punching opportunities. Their heads are going to be very close together. Not tough in the sense he's taking a lot of punishment, but he's throwing a lot for the event. He's got to drain something out of him. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty... You would find almost no one in the arena who believed before this began that it would go to a decision. But Tyson has won the first two rounds and is controlling the third. But there is really no direct comparison to style between the two fighters. Tyson did not appear phased by it. You might be able to see here that the fighters are fighting with eight ounce Everlast thumbless gloves. Mike Tyson. Good right. In case you have joined us late, the man in the black trunks is the young phenomenon of the heavyweight division, 19 years. Tyson. You mentioned, of course, Scheduled 10 round heavyweight fight between Mike Tyson and. I'm sure. In round five, than at any previous time in the fight. Beginning to throw that left. Here as well. Left hooks. I think he respects, respects Ferguson. He will not last much longer. Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. He's in trouble in both the first and tenth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson. The right uppercut. His punch right here is the uppercut. He turns around, digs right to the body, and then comes straight up with the right uppercut. That condition. Seven. Eight. He's going to have to get in there and force him apart. Another left. See, Ferguson just is not listening to Rivera at all. He's, Tyson's making a mistake by letting himself get this close to Ferguson. He must maintain a little bit of distance so that Fer he's, going to, he's going to take a point. He's disqualified. He's disqualified. is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unification of the WBC and the WBA heavyweight championships. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Magnolia, North Carolina, weighing in at 233 pounds, with a professional record of 19 wins, five defeats, with 14 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world, James Bone Crusher Smith. And in the blue corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 219 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 28 wins, no defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah. Step back, one step back, one little bit. Okay, now, we've gone over all the instructions in the dressing room. 
And if it's for the title, any question for Mr. Smith or his chief second? Any question for Mr. Tyson or his chief second? All right, let's get it on. Come on. This fight has already gone longer than some people expected. Harold, how do you see it so far? <laughs> Left jab by Tyson. All right, don't your It's also a straight right hand, and Smith will often come from right to left. Tyson unloading on Smith. Counter punching right hand. So look for Tyson to try to come straight up the middle with a with an uppercut. So fun also being a good defensive fighter. He hasn't been hit solidly very often. Come on, that's back. Come on. is unable to get off those Gatling gun combinations because Tyson and Mills Lane has deducted a point from Bone Crusher Smith for holding Mike Tyson. Smith got in a good right hand. Tyson walked right through it. And that's significant. target because of his size in any event. And that was indicated in the punch stat numbers that you saw a moment ago. Only 23% effectiveness for Bone Crusher Smith. It may be that Tyson is frustrated because he's been unable to land real combinations the way he does in the gyms and on most There was a big right hand by Tyson. Pressure just kind of taunting Mike Tyson, and I'm not sure why. Tyson doesn't want to get out on his chest and be held, so he's staying outside now, but with his short arms, he can't punch from outside. I don't know what interior, it might just be frustration on the part of Bone Crusher Smith. Perhaps the most punishment inflicted fight so far by Mills Lane. You heard Bone Crusher Smith yell at him, say, "You're scratching me when you break us." There's the left hand, and now Tyson moves in. All right, we we'll step back, Smith. We we'll step back. We we'll step back, Bone. With the apparent exception of Michael Spinks, who's given up his title, so he doesn't have to fight him. Right now, he's open again. Two decent left hands. All right, come on, we'll step back. Step back, come on, stay your hands. Relatively, it makes Tyrell Biggs performance look a little better, though. Throw too many combinations in this fight. The only way he could win easier is on a forfeit. There was a combination by Tyson. 
bad mistake and just get nailed. shot by Mike Tyson, one of the few he's thrown. He's not performing and he's not being tested. What we're going to start reading about and hearing about Tyson now is, come on fellas, he's not as good as Ali, he's not as good as Fraser. Joe Lewis wasn't as good as Dempsey and Ali wasn't as good as Lewis. <laughs> Speaking of theater, well, we needed something. I didn't. They're, they are being booed, and I imagine even Tyson is. That was a right hand by Smith. That actually backed Tyson up. That was the best punch of the fight. We thought we would see that in the first 10 seconds, not in the last 10 seconds. And it is over. It was, it was too late, it was too little. For the new WBA, WBC, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. A popular verdict. Now the WBA, WBC champion, the only heavyweight champion now in the world. Do you feel satisfied after that fight? Well, I feel good, but I don't feel satisfied. But as you know, he was just trying to survive. I thought he was gonna come out there and try to beat me up, like he said. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, he didn't want to, he didn't want to fight. He didn't want to win. He didn't want to win at all. These are supposed to be the best heavyweights of my day. And you know, they have no respect. They say, I'm a young boy. I haven't fought in anybody. Now, what can Bonecrush say? Is he, is he added to the list of the bums I fought? Then if, 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 I didn't knock him out. He fought like that. That makes him a bum too. Act him a tear bum. He didn't want to fight. He didn't want to win. A few months and here we go. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right. Now the second knockdown, he's hurt more oh. on the inside. But this is still a replay of the first knockdown. Mike comes across. This is a nice, nice short. And, and then it, the way he's punching that.
introduction the world over, wearing his traditional black trunks and fighting out of Catskill, New York, in the United States. He weighed in at 239 pounds with a record of 48 wins, three losses, two no contests. He has 42 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is currently ranked the WBC number one contender. Here is the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Iron Mike Tyson. black trunks with white trim hailing from Karsur, Denmark he weighed in at 259 and three quarter pounds his outstanding record includes 62 wins one loss 43 wins coming by way of knockout ladies and gentlemen here is the pride of Denmark the IBC heavyweight champion introducing Super Brian Nielsen Gentlemen, you were given your instructions at the way. Please obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself, respect okay. the bell. Touch gloves, touch gloves. God bless. Thank you. And Tyson goes right to work. Body shots. Mike Tyson going right to the body, working his way in on the jab, his right hand to the body, trying to dig the uppercuts and hooks in on both sides. Mike has no let up in him, he's just unloading everything. All body right now. Not the, they're not open. Big right hand to the head by Tyson. Followed up by a left uppercut. Going to the body and the head now. Comes up top with a few uppercuts. But he stays almost exclusively to the body in that first sequence for about 30 to 40 seconds in round one. And he continues to dig to the body. Then a left uppercut to the chin, Tyson. Hard body shots. Then upstairs. Those uppercuts are starting to tell Steve. But he hasn't come close to hurting Tyson. A soft left hook there by Nielsen. Not even phasing Tyson. Pushing three. The left eye was cut late in the last round on the clash of heads. Oh, quick combination of the head. Cutting a hook in the right hand and another hook, and he Six. is in trouble. Down for the Seven. second time in his career. Hey, how do you feel, Brian? Oh, You're oh. beautiful, baby. 16 seconds to get through. Well, certainly Mike needs to get the rounds in, and Nielsen, the longer it goes, the better his chances are, but he's losing every round big. The crowd hoping for a miracle here. Big right hand by Tyson to the head. It appears that Mike lands a little bit overhand right, right there on the draw line after an uppercut. Got Nielsen's head up in the air on the other side. There's the uppercut and the right hand. That right hand does land on the temple and draw line. Opens up over the left eye of Nielsen who's getting hammered. Big uppercuts by Mike. Good, Double left uppercut on. in the right hand. Step out, Mike. You step out, dude. But not much power behind that. No, 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 Mike. Very good. Very good. Nielsen's Very good. made it through six. There's no rule to cover you. I have to declare him the winner. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. Want me, do you want me to do that? Yeah. Tell me in your own way. Yeah. I love you, babe. I'm going to declare him the winner right yeah. now. All right, corner? I like to double, see you double, triple up with this here. Combination. Combination. Word spread, brother. Well, yeah. Relax. Take a deep breath. Relax. Mike oh, Tyson, you, heard it. you win. That's Retired. It. Mike. It's over. It's over. Your, your words. And he chose not to continue. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gray trunks with black trim, fighting out of San Diego, California by way of Lubbock, Texas. He weighed in at a ready 218 pounds. His record stands at 50 wins, five losses, one no decision, with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the former WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing uh, Orland, Night Train uh, Norris. Presenting his opponent.
opponent across the ring on my left, ready to fight out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing his traditional black trunks and hailing from Catskill, New York. He weighed in at 223 pounds with a record of 46 wins and three losses. He has 40 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title. Please welcome the explosive two-time heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the one and only Mike Tyson. Once again, a referee in charge, Richard Steele. Okay, you guys, I spoke to you both in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. Keep all of your punches in front of the man, watch the low blows. Shake hands and good luck. Controversial referee, the third man, and here we go. The bell for round one, and Tyson comes right out with a straight left. Both are heavily muscled and the same muscle types. Good left hook to the belly by Mike Tyson right there. Tyson going to the body. At least Mike is trying to jab more than he did in the other fights. Like he always did. Not at all intimidated by the not, moment. Not at all. Heavy right hands, a series of rights to the head and body by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Norris's best weapon, the double left hook. There's a straight left hand there by uh, Mike Tyson, and then he follows it up with a combination and a right uppercut. That was a punch uh, while they were talking. See what Steele says. He hit after the bell. That's two points. Oh, oh really? two points. The ducks two points. Oh, really? He could have lost the whole fight. I'm after the bell, and I clean it up for you. I'd, I'd like to see that again because it almost looked to me like if it was at the same time as him saying break and the punch going time. Well, now this is politics. Now the bell is rung for round two, but nothing's happening. Norris in the corner, shake it up. They're Gable Sanchez right sends his knee. Look at me. So you're right there, it's your knee, and you can't continue? No, no. That, that's it, his knee. He can't continue. His head, and he cannot continue. Oh, man. I can't make him continue. You know what? I can't make me. him continue. Now he goes over to the executive director of the Nevada Athletic Commission, Mark Rapp. Uh -oh. Now there's a lot of scurrying in the ring. Uh-oh. They, they better they better put protection here comes security but well, we've seen this scene before with a tyson fight let's not see it again they're forming a, a circle around tyson and you can hear the crowd chanting its displeasure now and things are getting ugly again there's shelly finkel tyson's advisor Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. This bout has been stopped after round number one due to an accidental foul which occurred after the bell rang. This bout is officially ruled at this time a no contest. Well, you heard it. The bout has... say break and, and at the time, watch Tyson's arm. No, it's, here he is. See? Oh, it's oh, buckled. Cold. Yeah. You he, can see his leg buckled as he went down. Oh, it's right! Oh. He definitely hit him after the another bell. Night, another Tyson night. Give me your view of what happened. Did you throw the punch after you heard the bell? Well, you know, you were there. You saw it. It was simultaneous with the bell. And the punch wasn't that devastating. He could have continued. He quit on his stool, but I'll take him again in my next fight. I'll fight him right away. Well, let's fight him in December. I'd love to. All right, let me ask you something. How can a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, <laughs> all right? He knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him, and he wasn't ready for that heat. Yeah, right. You're ready for a good fight. You're ready to come back in December against anybody. I feel great, and I just want to continue to fight one fight at a time and fight around four more fights and fight for the championship. Yes, sir. The reality of the situation is... um. <clears throat> He could have got up and continued exactly. to fight. 
I put that heat on him, and he didn't want to continue. I was hearing all this stuff. He's a tough guy. He's not going to lay down. He's not like anybody else. Exactly. He's going to come to fight. He's a good box. And he didn't. Listen, to fight me alone, I don't care what him. Whatever you say about me, good or bad, you got to have heart to even get in the ring with me. Exactly. You know, the, and what he just, um, the way he conducted himself, he should, be, he should feel bad about himself. He should feel disgraced about himself. And the real fighter fights they can't fight no more. Many times, when I fought Buster Douglas, I could have quit that fight. When I fought the Holyfield the first time, I could have quit that fight. I took my beating like a man. Fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing white trunks with red trim. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois by way of Warsaw, Poland. He weighed in at an even 240 pounds with a record of 36 wins, 4 losses. He has 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the WBC number 9 ranked heavyweight contender. Introducing the hard-hitting Andrew. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, really needing no introduction the world over, entering the ring wearing his traditional black trunks and hailing from Catskill, New York. He weighed in at 222 pounds with a record of 48 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He has 42 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the youngest man ever to capture the world title, the two-time heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. I can see Mike's belly button right there, and that's going to be the line. So anything on his trunks or cups, I'm going to consider a low blow. Do you have any questions? No questions. Any questions no in this questions. corner? Let's okay, gentlemen, right. let's, let's do it right. right. Touch them up. May the best man. Yeah, there we go. Milano looks a little soft in the belly, too, Steve. There's a straight left hand right on the nose. A right hand by Tyson. Another overhand right by Tyson that got Milano on the head. Tang just trying to get that jab, trying to get through this first round. Tyson, as usual, comes out winging. Tyson quickly looking to get in on the inside of Tyson's recent opponents. Hard break. Step back. Hard break. Tyson throwing the big wide right okay, hand to the no body, wrestling. Steve. No break. And he is big. I'm watching it. He is a big target, and Mike's got a lot of man to work with in front of him. He's throwing some big body shots. Glad not throwing any hard punches at all. Nice Excellent job, Steve. A flash knockdown. He got up quickly here in the Eight. final seconds of Eight. round one. The left eye of Galata. Nice right hand by Mike over the top. Connecting with a devastating right. Tyson. Made Mike miss a few shots, but you can see there's some fear in his eyes. Tyson. He's felt the pain. Wanting to end it right here. Oh, a big right hand again. Huge rights to the head. There's another right hand. A lot of chip was standing there, but how much more can he take? Tyson's not working his way and needs to stuff that big jab. He approached the final minute of the second round. That was an accident. You're Mike okay? showing he's a little over anxious here. That big right hand got all, all souped up. That was an he's not bobbing. He wants to go on. I don't think he wants to go on. He wants to quit. He quit. Angel, what are you doing? Last second, the bell's gonna ring. It's over. He's done it again. Galata quits. Look at this. Al Servo says, I can't believe you're doing this. And he said it a little more colorfully than that, Steve. I'm telling you right now, Servo's excited. He's upset. And I'll tell you what, it was a better round considering the first round was on his.